I was asked today, um, how do you get round the accent issues? Now, some of you may have heard of Avatar, thinking it's a big blue alien that's about 10 foot tall or whatever. That's not the Avatar relating to call centers. I'm going to show you a version of one I have. Um, that's actually one we built for the call center. Um, just so you can get an idea of what these are, because you could use this video to actually get somebody to build one for you. So you've dialed your call, but you're a person that has a really bad accent, or in some cases they don't actually even want anybody that speaks um, with any accent. These are sound boards. American Solar? Where you actually push forward your sales pitch without actually saying a word. Well, physically. You link these up to the keys or use it via a mouse, depends on how you set it up. Um, I know some call centers that actually have two sets of these because they have two keyboards, two computers, and will actually do two calls at the same time. Well, there is no catch. We just want to provide you with more information about lowering your monthly energy bills by switching to solar and going green. As you can see, it's a very simple system. Um, I won't go into it too much. But basically what you do is you set it up so that you go through the different scenarios of a conversation and you build up your storyboard and then split them up like similar to what you see in there. Uh, different storyboards for different sales pitches. Um, but also what you do is, like I said, you link them to the keys and after a few hours, agents become familiar with it all anyway. Um, the other side of that being um that for every campaign you build a different one where do you get voiceovers five is full of people that do voiceovers with um very clear voices that are for radio for all sorts so you can actually get specific to whatever you need you know you could even go regional if you wanted to um now the other side of this i want to point out is that i believe in some countries this isn't actually legal um, but because most of these people actually offshore everything, they just bypass and ignore the law. It's the same with auto dialers. Um, because it's all offshore, they ignore the laws because obviously um, the whole in the whole business is not within the US, the UK, etc. And that's why they just bypass everything. Um, they use auto dialers. They use um, systems like this where it actually seems like you're talking to somebody from your own country um, and do they work of course they do people make thousands of dollars a week using systems like this um, we found them quite useful but I prefer real calls real conversations to going down the robotic route um, but at the same time you could probably get five times as many agents going because they don't have to speak, they just have to listen. And if they understand it, you can actually quadruple the number of calls you're doing um, because your agents don't need to be as skilled. Um, but like I said, I'm more into virtual assistants, reception services, that sort of stuff these days. Telemarketing, um, it's okay, but at the same time, it's not, it's not my strong point. I mean, we are good at it, but at the same time, I prefer... Uh, virtual assistants and stuff. Why? Because it's stable. You know, telemarketing is like that. You know, you have good weeks, bad weeks, you have seasonal things, you have changes in law, for example, with the solar, you have the subsidies cut, and now they're on about changing some of the legalities because some people have been caught out with solar systems that are no longer making any money whatsoever. They've lost a lot of money. So, from those points of view, the telemarketing. Um, is up and down where virtual assistant services you receive in the calls things like when you've got your um, problems with your PayPal and you're going okay talk to somebody what's the problem blah 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 those calls are going to come in all the time they're continuous flow they're con well they're consistent which means your pay is consistent which means you're not stressed. Telemarketing could be quite a stressful game because you're hammering it to get those sales in. Anyway, thanks for watching.